Okay, I'm working with SSH and public slash private key authentication. Um, I've installed uh, SSH server, open SSH server on my server, and I'm going to test to see if I can ping it right now. Let's see here. I did it already, so we'll try again. So I can ping my server, and the command I used on the server was let's see here sudo app-get install open ssh server alright let me put in my password and I'll just install it here too okay alright so I'm installing open ssh server here and then this is going to be the client that's going to connect to the server though so more importantly I'm going to need to install the client alright we'll let this run shouldn't take too long okay looks like the client was installed if I read that correctly but we'll see. Okay, let's try to install the client, see what happens. All right, already the newest version, so installing the server, I got the client also. So I'm going to clear this and what I need to do now is I need to generate um, some keys. So I'm going to type in ssh dash keygen. All right. Enter the file in which you want to save the uh, key. I'll just pick the default and hit enter. All right. And I'm going to put in a passphrase. It's always good to put in a passphrase. You have to put it in twice. All right, and there's my key. Okay, the next thing I need to do is let's go take a look at those keys. So I did an ls command, and it showed me um, basically my home folder, but I need to see the hidden files, so I did a ls-a command, and you can see all the hidden uh, directories and files, the ones that start with a dot in front of them. And so I'm interested in the ssh directory. This is it right here. So I'm going to change directory into the .ssh, and then I'll do a list. And you can see inside there is um, id underscore rsa and id underscore rsa dot pub. And this is my public key, the one that says dot pub. And this is my private key, the id underscore RS rsa. So I've got a private key and a public key right here. OK, now that I have my um, keys, I'm going to copy my public key over to the server. And I'm going to do it using SCP, which uses Secure Shell to copy it over. It's kind of like a secure form of FTP. So I've got the command here, SCP. I've got the file that I want to copy over there. And then I'm going to use the IP address of the server and then the directory colon forward slash home forward slash. Let's see if that works. I'll hit enter. Um, Okay, are you sure you want to continue? I'll hit yes. Um, it wants the full word yes. Okay, so I just copied that over there. Okay, I need the password on the um, other computer. And it looks like I got permission denied. So let's try again let's try again we'll say home Dan and that looks good we'll give it another try I'll try that that's my home folder and we'll see what happens here password Okay, looks like it copied over. So that worked. Um, I didn't like the way this looked 
the forward slash home forward slash forward slash and then the file name that wasn't correct the folder I wanted to copy it to was um, Dan so I changed it to forward slash home forward slash Dan forward slash and then I put in the password on the server and I was able to copy it over there so that worked out okay now that I have copied my public key over to the server I'm gonna SSH into the server and add the key to the list of authorized keys so I'm going to do SSH, let's see here, SSH to Dan at, and then I'll just put in the IP address. We'll see if we can SSH in here. Okay. I SSH'd over into the server, so now I'm at the server, and you can see here that the username changed to Dan at Dan dash lat, so that's my uh, other computer, that's the server. Before I was Dan at Dan dash VirtualBox, which is this VirtualBox version of Ubuntu I'm using. So I'm in there, right? So now it's time to add the keys to the um, list of keys. Okay and I'm going to first of all look at my folder here alright I'm in the home folder I'm gonna change directory no that's this is where I want to be actually there is the ID underscore RSA dot pub key this is the one I'm interested in so one I just copied over here and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cat this key ID underscore rsa dot pub and I'm gonna send it to let's see here I'm gonna send it to this directory my dot ssh directory home folder forward slash dot ssh directory forward slash authorized underscore keys alright and I'll do that so that just um, concatenates or adds my my public key to the end of the authorized keys file in the dot SSH folder okay alright that looks good and now I will exit okay I just closed the connection to the server and now I am back in my client. Okay, and now I'm on the server. And what I what I need to do is is I need to edit the um, config file 